Hey, Gersorka Pun, it's me, Chloe, and today we're going to be doing a read aloud, Owl Diaries, Ava's Big Sleepover by Rebecca Elliott. And check it out, guys. I have my bottom teeth have braces now, so just wanted to show you guys. Let's get started. Table of Contents. Chapter One, The Birthday Owl. Sunday. Hello, lovely diary. It's me again, the one. The only. Ava Wingdale! This week is going to be swooper duper. Do you want to know why? Next Saturday is my birthday. We owls also call this our hatch day. I love getting messy when I make stuff, the word pebble, playing cards with my family, presents, really starry nights, getting mail, mom's wild berry lemonade, making friends laugh. So these are all the things that she likes or loves. I do not love the word slug when my favorite clothes don't fit anymore, baby Mo's gross eating habits, Loud thunder, mom's roast leaf sandwich, feeling sick when my book whacks me in the face because I fall asleep when I'm reading, making friends feel sad. My family is the best. Here's a picture of me on my first birthday. This is my baby brother, Mo, when he first hatched. This is her family, her mom, her dad, Humphrey, her brother, and herself, and baby Ma. This was when she was a baby. And here's the present my family gave me on my fifth birthday. My owl adorable pet, Pat Baxter. Ms. Baxter. I love being an owl. Owls are the best. We're asleep when the sun is out. We're awake when the moon is out. We come in all different shapes and sizes. The smallest owl is called an elf owl. Owls can fly for miles before our wings get tired. This is where I live. My best friend Lucy Beekman lives in the next tree. This is my school. Here's a photo of my class. I cannot wait for tomorrow. It is show and tell day. I have something excellent to show, but it's bedtime. Good day, diary. So this is where she lives. This is her best friend, Lucy. This is her class. And this is her teacher, Miss Featherbottom. Chapter two, party plans, Monday. We were all excited. Quiet down class, it's show and tell time. My classmates each shared something really flapperific. Zara's photo diary, George's robot sheet model, Lily's new book, Lucy's acorn animals, Carlo's magic trick. Kira's pinecone collection, Zach's balloon rocket, Macy's beetle brownies, Haley's fossil, Jacob's new song, Sue told the class about how she and her mom made a scarf together. Sue's scarf. Wow, Sue, your scarf is so pretty. It looks owl amazing on me, doesn't it? Then it was my turn. I opened up the box I had been hiding behind my back. This is Sue. She's a little bit, tiny bit of a bully to Ava. This is the actual eggshell I hatched from. Everyone loved my show and tell. But then Sue said something mean. That looks like a big shell, Ava. You must have been a really big chick. My cheeks got went a little red. I kept talking to change the subject. I bought this shell because it's actually my hatch day on Saturday. Sue, why would you say that? That's wonderful, Ava. Happy early birthday. Thank you. You're all invited to my party. Yay! At lunch, Lucy, Haley, and I talked about my birthday plans. My party plans. I love party planning. Will your, sleepover, will your party be a sleepover party? Ooh, I love the idea. I'll ask my mom. That way, you can keep the fun going all day. 
As soon as I got home, I talked to, to my mom. A sleepover party is a great idea. Wow, thank you, Mom. It'll be wingtastic. But then I thought of something. Mom asked me what was wrong. Well, I'm not sure I want Sue to come to my party anymore. She was a bit mean today. What did she say? During show and tell, she said my shell looked big and that I must have been a really big chick. Oh dear. Well, sometimes owls are not very good at saying the right thing. Maybe Sue wasn't trying to be upset to upset you. Maybe she just didn't think before she squawked. Maybe that's true. I guess so, but I'm but I'm still worried, Mom. Sue really ruffles my feathers. What if she ruins my special night? If you don't invite her, then you'll be the mean one. And I know you don't want that. No. So invite her, Ava. It'll be fine. You'll have a great time. I'm sure of it. Okay, thanks, Mom. My party's going to be owlsome. At least it will be if Sue can be nice to me for a whole day. I made sleepover invitations for everyone in my class. What do you think, diary? Now I'm going to dream about the best party ever. How do you like her invitation? I think it looks good. Chapter three, keep your beak shut. Tuesday, on the way to school, I told Lucy the good news. My mom said I can have a sleepover party. Wow, that's so cool, Ava. Before class, I flew around giving out my brand new sleepover party invitations. Haley was so excited that she said we should start a party planning club. That's a great idea. I'll need help planning my big sleepover party. We'll have the sleepover squad. I'll gather our best party planning friends. We'll meet. We'll have the first club meeting tomorrow at lunch. Yippee! Then it was time to invite Sue. See how it goes. I felt a little nervous as I flew over to her. What is, is something, is something wrong, Ava? I just sort of wish I didn't have to invite Sue. I'm worried she'll be mean to me. But I must have said that a bit too loudly because Lucy suddenly said, Shh! Uh, Sue was standing right behind us. Eek! I grabbed Lucy's wing and pulled her aside. Oh no, do you think Sue heard what I said? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, you need to invite her now before she hears about your sleepover party from someone else. You're great. Okay, okay. I mean, you're right. Okay, okay. You're great. What was that? I flew over to Sue. My wings were shaking, but I tried to sound normal. Hello, Sue. How are you on this lovely Tuesday? Fine. Great. So you know I'm having my birthday party on Saturday. Well, now it's a sleepover party. Can you come? Hmm. No, I think I'll be busy then. Sue flew to her seat. Ugh! I feel awful. Sue must have heard what I said to Lucy. I hate to think that I hurt her feelings. I kept trying to talk to Sue for the rest of the night, but she always fly away. Flew away. How can I say I'm sorry if she won't listen to me? Oh, diary, I never should have said anything about not wanting to invite Sue. Mom was right. That makes me the mean one. I guess if you're mean about the meanie, that makes you the meanie. Chapter 4, Sleepover Squad, Wednesday. I wanted, to talk, I wanted to talk to Sue tonight, but Haley called the first Sleepover Squad meeting at lunch, so I couldn't get away. I want to hear everyone's sleepover ideas. Ice cream buffet, photo booth, decorate pillows, play pin the beak on the owl, watch a movie. There are so many flaptastic ideas. I added one too. We could all sleep in tents in my room. Then I wrote a to-do list. Ice cream. During recess, everyone was playing wing ball. I saw Sue sitting on her own, so I flew up to her. Hi, Sue. Do you want to play wing ball? No, I'm busy. Then she flew off again. Lucy saw what had happened. She flew over to me. She must have, Sue must have heard what you said. I know. She must think I don't want her at the sleepover. That's why she said she can't come. I just feel bad about it. But how could I make it right if she won't talk to me? What if we fly to her treehouse after school? That's a great idea. She'll have to listen then. I can say sorry and tell her I really do want her at my sleepover. But maybe you should ask her what's wrong first. After school, Lucy and I flew to Sue's house. 
Sue opened the door. My voice was squeaky, but I knew I had to speak up and say the right thing. Hello, Sue. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what I said at school. I thought Sue would get mad or slam the door, but she looked at me strangely. What? What did you say at school? Sue hadn't heard me after all. Oh, nothing. I didn't say anything. Did you say anything, Lucy? No, not at all. So why are you here? Um. Oh my God, Sue didn't hear you after all. I came. I wanted to say, please come to my sleepover. It's going to be fun. I can't. I told you I'm busy with my mom. Just then, Sue's mom flew home. Hello, Miss Clausen. I was just inviting Sue to my sleepover on Saturday. How nice! I'm sure you have a lovely time. So can Sue come? Yes, of course. Sue's mom flew inside. Your mom said you can come. That's great, Sue. No. Look, I'm sorry, Ava. I I'll come to your party until my mom picks me up. But I can't sleep over. Then she slammed the door right in our beaks. Well, thank goodness Sue didn't hear what you said in class. I know I'll never say anything bad about anyone ever again. But I'm confused. If Sue's not upset about what you said, and if she's not busy with her mom, then why wouldn't she want? Why won't she sleep over? I don't know. It's a mystery. A mystery to solve. Chapter five: The mystery of Sue. Thursday. I called an emergency sleepover meet squad meeting. I told everyone how Sue said she can't sleep over, but how it seemed like she could sleep over if she really wanted to. It's too bad Sue is not staying over. This would be the first time we'll all have a sleepover together. It won't feel right without her. We must do something about it. Operation Sue. No owl left behind. I almost said Susie and not Sue. Oh my God. We decided that if Sue doesn't want to sleep over, then that must mean one of two things: one, Sue doesn't like sleepovers, or two, Sue doesn't like me. So we came up with a secret plan to find out the truth. First, George talked to Sue. Hey, Sue, my favorite book is Ninja Owl and the Magic Sleepover. Do you like that book? I love that book. So now we know she likes sleepovers. Next, Haley talked to Sue. Hey Sue, I'm writing an article for the class newspaper. It's about everyone's best qualities. What should I write about Ava? That's easy. Ava is kind, funny, and creative. Sue said nice. Sue Sue said such nice things about me. So now we know she likes Ava too. Well, if Sue likes sleepovers and if she likes me, then it's a mystery. Why won't she sleep over? Maybe I should invite her one more time. Hmm. I may maybe. I'm not sure. Sue flew past. I took the chance to ask her again in front of everyone. I don't know if you, she. If, I don't know if you should keep asking her the same exact question. She might get annoyed. Hey Sue, please stay for my sleepover. Everyone wants you to stay too, right? Everyone? Yeah, it'll be fun. Everyone else will be there. Sue went really mad in the face, really red in the face, and she squawked at me. I just don't want to come home. To come to your silly sleepover, okay? Then Sue flew to class. We all flew inside too. What just happened? I felt a bit upset. I'd never been squawked at before. Don't worry, Ava. Your sleepover is going to be hooterific, with or without Sue. Thanks, Lucy. I guess you're right. And still, we have so much to do for the party. After school, the sleepover squad met at my treehouse. George and Haley made the sign for the ice cream buffet. Zara and Zach got the photo booth ready. So sweet how all her classmates are helping. Lucy and I set up the pillowcase crafting corner. Then we all had a pillow fight. It was such a hoot! I can't wait for Saturday. I just wish I knew why Sue won't sleep over and she and why she got so upset tonight. It's sort of funny how I didn't want Sue to come to my sleepover because I thought she might ruin it. But now I'm worried that Sue not being there might ruin it more. I just wish everyone could be together. Maybe you can try talking to her mom. Chapter six: How to make a sleepover. Friday. Sue didn't really talk to anyone at school. Sometimes she's quiet when she's in a mean mood. But tonight, Sue. But tonight, Sue seemed kind of sad. How can I help if she won't talk to me? After school, the sleepover squad come、uh, came over again. We kept working on our to do list. Lucy and Zach painted the owl for the pin the beak on the owl game. 
Haley and I cooked the movie popcorn. We even made little boxes to put it in. Zara and George put up the tents and painted them. We kept decorating. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. Finally, everything was ready for my party. It looks owl amazing. I can't wait until tomorrow. O M Owl. O M Owl. Oh my owl. This looks so good. Chapter 7. Happy Hatch Day. Saturday. Happy Hatch Day to me. It has been a totally owlsome birthday. My party was great. We danced and played games, and I tried not to think about how Sue was going to leave early. Here's a list of, of some of my presents. Let's see what's on the list. Here, you can read it. Then Carlos gave me a present that changed everything, a truth or dare card game. In the game, you were asked a question. If you don't answer it, you have to do a silly dare. We started playing the game. At first, it was really fun. What's the strangest dream you've ever had? I can't remember. I'll have to take a dare card. Okay, stand up on your head and say the alphabet backward. Z, Y, X, ugh. What comes next? Everyone laughed. Next, it was my turn. Name something you're scared of. Hmm. So I know this sounds silly, but I have my first owl dentist appointment next week, and I'm really scared. Ava, that is so silly. There's nothing scary about the owl dentist. I know, it's just that I've never been before. Suddenly, I had a big idea. That's it. That's what? Oh, nothing. I pull Lucy into the kitchen. Lucy, I think I know why Sue doesn't want to sleep over. Really? Why? The same reason I'm scared of going to the owl dentist. She's never been before. Ooh, that makes sense. So, what should we do? I'm going to try talking with her about it. Wish me luck. I flew over to Sue. Hey, Sue, I'm sorry if I was being a bit pushy before about you sleeping over tonight. That's okay. I'm sorry I squawked at you. That's okay. But um, I was wondering if maybe you haven't been to a sleepover before. I thought she was going to get mad at me for asking. But then, but then what's going to happen? Sue looked at the floor. You're right. I haven't been to a sleepover before because, well, I've just never been invited before. I really do want to stay over, but the truth is I'm a bit scared. Just like I'm scared about the owl dentist. But like you said, it's not scary really. I'm just scared because it's new and I've never been in before. I think if you stay over for my sleepover, you'll be having too much fun to be scared. Do you really think so? I do. It will be definitely more be more fun than the owl dentist. Sue laughed. Everyone else flew over. I was really scared on my first sleepover. Me too. And me. Yeah, it's okay to be scared for first things. Just then, Sue's mom came to take her home. Sue flew over to her. Mom, I was thinking, I might like to sleep over now. Darling, I hoped you might change your mind. I bought your pajamas just in case. And I have an extra pillow. I have a spare toothbrush. Beak brush. My teddy bears are twins, so you can borrow one. You can share my tent if you want. Really? That would be owl amazing. Okay, I'll stay. Everyone cheered. Let's party! Chapter 8. Sleepover success. Sunday. The sleepover last night was flappy. Flappy fabulous. We ate ice cream. We took pictures in the photo booth. We had a huge pillow fight where we ended up in a pillow mountain. We played pin the beak on the owl. We watched the movie and ate. We watched the movie and ate popcorn. Look, they're watching wing, wing Dorella. You know Cinderella, but they're owls, so wing Dorella. Then Sue had a great idea for a new activity: a pa a pajama fashion show. While everyone was getting ready, Sue flew over to me. Thanks for getting me to stay, Ava. You were you were right. Sleepovers are super. You're welcome, Sue. I'm glad you're having fun. My hatch day wouldn't be the same without you. I almost forgot. Here's your present. It was Sue's hoodie full scarf. I could tell how much you liked it during show and tell. Happy birthday, Ava. Really? This is for me? Thanks, Sue. Happy birthday, Ava. Yeah, happy birthday. We stayed up partying into the day. So we've 
only just settled into our tent. This has been the best birthday, and I have to say, it was only this fantastic because everyone was here to celebrate it with me. I guess we all get to, I guess we all get scared and need a little help and understanding sometimes, and understanding sometimes. Even Sue. See you next time, diary. Look, Sue sleeping. And this is the author, Rebecca Elliott. The end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Bye, Sparkle Kitties.